Hi everyone, very good afternoon guys. I hope I am audible and visible to all of you. So, um, as we are moving closer towards the exam, so today is 15th, pretty much close to the exam. I think the need of the hour is quickly brushing up whatever we have studied. We need to go through that once again in a very, very rapid and a concise manner and keeping our fingers crossed that whatever we are studying in these last few days, everything comes up in the paper. So, that's the positivity that we need to have at this point of time. And uh, all of us are in the same boat. Like I said, if you're feeling anxious, panicky, depressed, Rest. If you're feeling that you know everything is just slipping out of your hands and nothing is coming back on track, it's a very very normal feeling to have at this point of time. You just don't have to affect, let it affect your studies. You just have to keep going. Don't think about what do you remember or what can you recall. Just know that these are the last four or five days where I have to give in my 200% and then ultimately you have to leave everything to God and to destiny to play its role and to give the best back to you as you have given it. You have to give your 100% or 200% and obviously everything will come back in a positive manner to all of you also. On that note, we are going to begin with today's class. I hope everyone's got the PDF of yesterday's class. So today's PDF also I would be sharing on the Telegram group. So you don't have to make any notes. This is not the time to make notes. This is the time to quickly read everything. So ki class, ka, what is the motive? I've decided to pick up all the parasitology images hosts uh, eggs all these important important things that we have to study so yes i think i've gotten um, thumbs up from everyone kal bacteriology yoga dr rohitash as i had discussed earlier kal hoga bacteriology today we'll be focusing on parasitology part so let's begin with question number one so yes what is this the single characteristic feature which is most diagnostic in differentiating entamoeba histolytica from the other intestinal amoeba what is that going to be so size of the cyst structure of the nucleus presence of chromatoid bodies or the number of the nucleus what differentiates entamoeba histolytica from the others so most of you have given a right answer so some of you said number nahi. number nahi hai. it's the structure i'll tell you how so see when they are saying entamoeba histolytica everyone's heard of it when they are saying other intestinal amoeba they are talking about entamoeba coli so these are the two that you have to know difference between entamoeba histolytica and entamoeba coli so please remember first i'll show you entamoeba histolytica so when i talk about entamoeba histolytica as we said and these images are very very important so see it has a trophozoite and it has a cyst trophozoite me kitne nucleus trophozoite is going to have one nucleus and cyst is going to have how many so there's a variation some have one two three some have one two three four so basically the cyst is going to have somewhere between one to four nuclei repeating Trophozoid is going to have one nucleus and cyst is going to have somewhere between one to four nuclei there, right? So, this is the number. I agree. If someone would have asked you how to differentiate between trophozoid and cyst, then your answer would have been number of the nuclei. But here they are not asking you the difference. They are asking you about the structure. So, remember the nucleus looks like this. The dot is in the center. Look at the nuclei everywhere. You will see in the nucleus, the dot is in the center. So, when you see a central karyosome, that is when I know I am dealing with entamoeba histolytica. The dot is in the center very very good so coming back what do you see in entamoeba histolytica the first thing what is the feature of the structure of the nucleus the dot is in the center there is a central karyosome whether there is one nucleus or there are four nuclei the dot is in the center but when i talk about entamoeba coli now i'm going to show you pictures of entamoeba coli Ye wala dekho. again there is a trophozoid Again, there is a cyst. Again, the trophozoid has one nucleus. And this time, the cyst has how many nuclei? The cyst has up to eight nuclei. Up to eight nuclei are going to be present in the cyst. So again, trophozoid is having one nucleus. And the cyst is having one to eight nuclei. But what is the change in the structure? So look at this. You will see the dot is at the periphery. The nucleus has a dot at the periphery. So now you know why was the answer structure? Because entamoeba histolytica has a central dot in the nucleus 
whereas entamoeba coli has an eccentric dot in the nucleus that is the extrinsic eccentric karyosome so that is how you differentiate between them that solves your question number 1 i hope that is okay and these two differences are very important histolytica to ab jaldi revise one more thing with me when i say histolytica what is the ulcer that is going to happen in the intestine with entamoeba histolytica i think everyone knows that we are going to have the very very famous flask shaped ulcer right so flask shaped ulcer occurs in the large intestine it very commonly occurs in the in the uh, cecum right that is one thing and at the same time other than cecum which other organ can it affect it also affects the liver and ye kaun sa liver mein se aisa brown brown pus comes out what is the name of that pus that is known as the anchovy sauce appearance so remember that entamoeba histolytica two things either they and these are the only two pictures that they have the most famous picture for a flask shaped ulcer is in front of you and the most famous picture for anchovy sauce appearance is also here these are the only two pictures remember it as it is all of you already know that let's move on to the next question all of the following are true about belantidium coli except that's the next one belantidium coli what is your take on that and uh, is it a protozoa cyst is the infective stage usually invades the liver and is the largest protozoan parasite inhabiting the large intestine so quick answer except matlab wrong wala statement batana hai and i can see some answers coming most of you are telling me option c and that is usually invades the liver yes that is the wrong statement jaldi se let us revise belantidium coli when i write belantidium coli now i'm going to tell you the mnemonic which will help you solve every question about it as soon as you write belantidium coli the coli word will remind you of cili because is this a ciliated parasite yes this is the only amoeba where i see entamoeba histolytica mein koi cilia nahi tha entamoeba coli did not have a cilia this belantidium coli this is a cili this is a ciliated parasite number 1 number 2 everything about belantidium b for belantidium b for big so if someone asks you that is this the largest protozoan that we have big bada protozoa yes which intestine does it involve you will say the big intestine it goes into the large intestine so everything about it is big the size is the biggest so that is why i called it the large protozoa the large intestine is affected okay then they will ask you how does it look like so like every other organism it has like all organisms what do they have they have a trophozoite state and they have a cyst state and in most of the cases out of trophozoite and cyst in most of the cases what is the infective variety the infective form is usually the cyst that is what we study so the infective form is always the cyst but b se kya yaad karenge whether you talk about the trophozoite or you talk about the cyst how many nuclei do they have b for binucleated both the trophozoite and the cyst is going to be bi b for binucleated means it's going to have a big nucleus and a small nucleus it's going to have a big nucleus and a small nucleus so that is why i said binucleated means again b for b there's going to be a big nucleus and there's going to be a small nucleus which of them is kidney shaped tell me big wala ya small wala so we can very well see that the big wala nucleus is bean shaped kidney shaped another b has come the big nucleus is going to be bean shaped so see now put all the bees together number 1 belantidium coli what is the size big size largest size belantidium coli which intestine big intestine large intestine how many nuclei does it have whether trophozoite or the cyst koi change nahi hai dono mein do do dono mein do do that is binucleated variety is seen and which nucleus is bean shape another b the bigger nucleus is bean shape so how if i give you a question there is no change in the number of the nuclei of the cyst and the trophozoite of means the trophozoite and the cyst have same number of nuclei which organism is that right now we studied belantidium coli the trophozoite also has binucleation the cyst also has binucleation and coming back to the previous question now tell me is it a protozoa correct it is the biggest protozoa is cyst the infective stage again correct last option is it the largest protozoa for large intestine that is also correct which was the false statement that they asked you does it invade the liver no i have not spoken anything about the liver it is only about the bada intestine it is about the big intestine large intestine so that question also comes to an end let's move on to the next and most expected question 
the most expected question there's an hiv positive person who's presented to you with diarrhea diarrhea tha so they did a stool examination where acid fast cysts of 8 to 12 microns were found your answer e coli entamoeba histolytica cryptosporidium or cyclospora there's a confusion between crypto and cyclo and i can see c and d coming as options so i'll quickly come down to the answer of how to identify this so please remember the first thing in the exam whenever you get an hiv positive patient with diarrhea you have to think of one family what family is that hiv patient with diarrhea is going to be the coccidian parasites is family ka naam hai the coccidian parasites so that is how the question will always start hiv wala patient hoga this hiv positivity always has to be mentioned something over here will be there okay chalo now what are the three um, organisms so you have to remember i told you how do you learn this you have to write it in an alphabetical order dr uh, dr kahani shukla i'm coming to that only how do you learn it you write it in an alphabetical order so sabse pehle write cryptosporidium then write cy that is cyclospora and then write isospora and after you have written it in an alphabetical order you will go double 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 so for cryptosporidium it is 4 to 6 microns okay after that you double it 4 ka double kya hoga 4 ka double 8 and 6 ka double 12 so the next one becomes the double this is 4 to 6 so the next one becomes 8 to 12 after that you take the 12 double and triple double is what 24 triple is what 36 so just keep doing double and after double do a triple so let's repeat this once again you first start off with crypto writing it in an alphabetical order after that we say 4 to 6 that is going to be one thing double kara to 8 to 12 and then 12 ka double triple kara 24 to 36 microns now coming back what did they give me in the question they gave me 8 to 12 microns so i know simple 4 to 6 double hai 8 to 12 and double triple 24 to 36 this is cryptosporidium this is cyclospora this is isospora so what is your answer going to be very famous very very famous question your answer is going to be cyclospora so that is what i marked but coming back what is the color why are all of them looking pink in color what stain has been used the very very famous acid fast acid fast matlab zn stain have i used the regular zn stain no we have not used the regular zn stain we have used a little bit of a variation of the zn stain that is zn stain mein heating nahi kara we have not done the heating process so it's a cold zn stain and that cold old zn stain is given a fancy name that is the kinyon stain that is the kinyon stain so having said that all the kk sounds have to come together when you're talking about the coccidian parasite family the cold zn stain technique will be used and the name of the cold zn stain is kinyon so coccidian cold kinyon all kkk coming so tell me is everything coming uh, look at this first picture is everything coming pink yes to acid fast hai over here also is everything coming pink acid fast hai but look at this one some of them are coming pink and some of them are not coming pink so what did i learn all of them are acid fast all of them will give me that pinkish color but cyclospora how do i learn this cyclo cyclo is cyclical cyclical matlab kabhi hai kabhi nahi hai sometimes it is positive sometimes it is not going to be positive so they ask you which of these is variable acid fast sometimes it is positive sometimes not so i have learned cyclospora is cyclical that is how we are going to learn it acha one more thing for example in the exam they give you these three pictures okay they give you these pictures and they don't mention the size they don't mention the size so how will i know which of them are they talking about because i don't have a scale with me i can't measure anything right so then you will have to go by the shape did you notice they had written something over here called round to kaun sa wala round hai kaun sa wala oval hai how will i learn that again see what are the three organisms one is cryptosporidium one is going to be cyclospora and one is going to be isospora right one is going to be iso spora so having said that let's repeat see c wala jo hoga jo c ki tarah dikhega complete the c uska shape hoga round so cryptosporidium is going to be round when we say cyclospora that also looks like a c so that is also going to be round but how does isospora look like i i is long line na to isospora is going to look 
oval so simple which of them is round jo cc wala hai they are going to be round and isospora is long so that is going to be oval someone said that in some other question bank it was uh, uh, given as wrong i don't know which question bank you're talking about uska screenshot share kar dena ek bar telegram pe we can always discuss it maybe some other some other point is given in the question which you have missed out on or maybe there could be an error so i can't comment on that but share the screenshot with me we'll discuss it out okay having said that without his history dr rishab no without history they will never these spotter kind of questions are not coming most of it this history will always be given hiv positive patient with diarrhea okay chalo having said that let's move forward so now you need to attempt the next set of questions which is this a very famous where do you see romana sign where do you acha still we have another question ma'am if both of them are round to sirf round nahi dekhna na now if you feel that both of them are round how will i differentiate between them you know na which of them is acid fast and which of them is variable acid fast to wo dekh lena if both these pictures are given you know cyclospora some of them will be positive some of them will be negative but in cryptosporidium all of them will be positive so you have to get all your you know all your knowledge together to give the answer coming back romana sign everyone's given me a right answer that is shagas disease quickly tell me two three points about shagas disease which i am expecting sabse pehle the name of the organism the name of the organism is trypanosoma cruzi that everyone knows so out of trypanosoma cruzi next you're going to tell me what is the vector how does it actually come to us so trypanosoma cruzi the way you say trypanosoma that is going to be what that is going to be triatamine bug amazing that is going to be triatamine bug so repeating trypanosoma cruzi that is going to be triatamine bug and uh, where are you uh, what are you seeing over here the very very famous romana sign to romana sign romans on a cruise many cruise related mnemonic students like like to uh, learn it and that is romana sign but romana sign agar nahi likha they don't like this if they have to explain it to you how will they what is romana sign so there's a lot of swelling around the eye there's basically periorbital edema so instead of writing that if they say that there's a person who's suffering from periorbital edema that is going to be what we call as romana's sign so remember remember try atamine bug or reduvid bug that all of you are saying for trypanosoma cruzi and the cruzi so cruise rome cruise that is going to be romana's sign is seen on that i hope everyone's clear with this question because isi se related ek aur question aata hai and that is what is the winter bottle sign so these two signs are very very important so romanas were rome or cruise tha rome wala cruise so cru cruzi but what about winter bottom sign winter bottom sign i have learnt it as w for w so what is winter bottom sign it is seen in west african sleeping sickness it is seen in west african so sleeping sickness is of two types na east african and west african so direct yaad rakhne rakhte hain that is going to be what west african sleeping sickness so who causes this yes sleeping sickness what are the questions that you get on sleeping sickness we are going to revise full sleeping sickness but yeah the answer over here is they didn't ask west or east but mujhe pata hai that winter bottom sign is west african sleeping sickness so what is a winter bottom sign if they did not want to write the name of the sign and tell you the patient winter bottom sign is very simple lymphadenopathy patient ka lymph node enlarge hona that is going to be the winter bottom sign to west african mein dikhega so quickly guys let's do a very very quick recap of what all questions am i going to get on west african sleeping sickness versus east african to sabse pehle because it is sleeping sickness ss whether west african or east african the name of the fly will be ss that is the c c fly is going to cause it a question same yahi aaya tha this question came in your previous year also c c fly is the vector of what so the way you say c c s s so c c fly is the vector of west and east african sleeping sickness so one part of this table is done the vector is done and the names are done but which organism is causing it so what is tbg tbr trypanosoma brucei gambiens trypanosoma brucei rhodesians and everyone remembers that famous mnemonic that how do we learn it so sun east and west kaise yaad rahega so sun rise sun rise kahan pe hota hai sun rises in the east and obviously the sun is going to set in the 
वेस्ट सो हा दैट इज एग्जैक्टली हाउ वी हैव लर्न इट सन राइजेज इन द ईस्ट सो जो रोडीसियंस है दिस रोडीसियंस दैट यू हैव राइजिंग रोडीसियंस दैट इज गोइंग टू बी ईस्ट अफ्रीकन एंड सन सेट्स इन द वेस्ट मतलब गेम ओवर सेट डाउन मतलब गेम ओवर होना तो गेम ओवर इन द वेस्ट विच मीन्स गैम्बियंस इज गोइंग टू बी गेम ओवर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी वेस्ट अफ्रीकन स्लीपिंग सिकनेस सो रिपीटिंग सन राइजेज इन द ईस्ट सो रोडीसियंस इज गोइंग टू कॉज ईस्ट अफ्रीकन गेम ओवर इन द वेस्ट सो गैम्बियंस इज गोइंग टू बी द वेस्ट अफ्रीकन ओके विच ऑफ दैम इज गोइंग टू शो विंटर बॉटम साइन तो डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू अभी करा विंटर बॉटम साइन इज गोइंग टू बी द लिम्फडीनोपैथी डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू तो विंटर बॉटम साइन इज सीन इन वेस्ट अफ्रीकन वेस्ट अफ्रीकन स्लीपिंग सिकनेस नाउ हैविंग सेड दैट who is going to have everything more in terms of danger so when we say danger matlab who is going to have more parasitic load who is going to be more virulent who is going to be more resistant to ye sara cheeze jo hai more wala that is going to be occurring in the rising part that is east so when you are rising obviously when are you more active when you are rising in life that time the person is more active to zyada parasitic load zyada virulent zyada resistance all that is going to happen when the person is rising and working very hard when the person is game over game over matlab sab kuch kam ho jayega parasitemia will be less there will be less virulence there will be less resistant so the rising part the person is going to have everything more even the resistance is going to be very strong this parasite is very very strong when rhodesians jo rise kar raha hai that is very very strong so you can't treat it with other drugs you have to give a drug called suramin you have to give suramin for its treatment because it's otherwise very resistant right okay having said that now moving forward so the question that i asked you was an easy one na winter bottom sign pucha tha winter bottom was west african sleeping sickness so that was an easy one again moving on to the next question that we have over here and uh, you first have to basically do a kind of the match the following so let me rather than asking you let me directly only ask you ya pehle bata do kaha match karoge whatever this is and you know this is a very very important question for malaria that we have shuffner's morers james and zeman you have to match with the corresponding plasmodium species <clears throat> okay so what is that i can started getting a few answers b answer kafi common aa raha hai so let us see if the b answer is correct or not so firstly malaria hai this everyone knows you are not going to get any pictures so don't unnecessarily start googling this and finding out that kaisa dikhta hai that part is not going to come you just need to know the names yeah these are some things that you see under the microscope you just have to do a ratta of what is seen under what so let's go very logically when i say shuffner's dots i have given you mnemonics earlier also so when i say shuffner i think this is how we learnt it that shuffling shuffling of questions always occurs in viva exams viva exam me examiner always asks me shuffled questions so what am i going to have that is going to be for plasmodium vivax that is how you learn it that is viva me shuffle karke question pucha jayega okay so i clearly mark shuffner's dots with plasmodium vivax next what do i where do i see morer's cleft so again how do you write morer the way you write morer that is exactly how you are going to write falciparum so see falciparum ko ulta padho you have to read falciparum opposite so if you read it it is sounding like m a u r to m a u r matlab that is going to be morer's cleft okay having said that dr rohitash nahi fmg exam mein iski photo na kabhi aayi hai na aayegi neat at max if they give you a picture also that picture will not be a spotter there will always be a history that will be supporting it so don't unnecessarily feel that this will come as a spotter don't take that tension next morer's clefts are seen in plasmodium falciparum coming to the next we have what we have something called the z man dot so ab how do you write z man if you write z man the way you write man is the way you write mal so matlab plasmodium malaria mal area mein you are going to see the man dots okay in mal area you see the man dots and finally what are you left with we are left with james james mein kitne alphabets hain james has 1 2 3 4 5 that is 
five alphabets so plasmodium ovale plasmodium ovale also has as five alphabets so now having said that let's do a repeat when i say shuffner's dots to shuffling kaha hoga shuffling will happen in the viva exam to shuffner's okay when i say morers morers is going to go falciparum ka ulta to m a u r m a u r when i say james james has five alphabets so plasmodium ovale also has five alphabets in it done and finally z man man is going to show you mal so that is going to be mal area dots <clears throat> okay i think this is sorted for everyone but yes malaria pe sare questions hum jaldi se revise karenge this was just one set of question the next question that you are going to revise is the card test can you tell me what is the diagnosis of this card test this can come as a spotter picture they'll give you a card and you'll have to do the diagnosis jaldi bata <clears throat> what is this malaria card test written you have to tell me falciparum vivax non falciparum or an invalid test dr shubham just hang on for the microscopic images we are going to revise everything okay so most of you have given me an answer uh that is positive for falciparum is what i'm getting as an answer okay so let's start revising this when i talk about uh, malaria kya kya question aayega they'll give you a malaria card test or any card test on this planet whether it is malaria or hiv or hepatitis b or hcv or urine pregnancy test ya कोविड का टेस्ट हो या कोई भी कार्ड टेस्ट हो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विल कम इज वॉट इज द प्रिंसिपल एंड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एनी कार्ड टेस्ट इज आई सी टी द प्रिंसिपल इज गोइंग टू बी इम्यूनोक्रोमैटोग्राफी रिमेंबर इट एज इट इज कोई भी कार्ड टेस्ट गिवन ऑन दिस प्लान इट इम्यूनोक्रोमैटोग्राफी ओके आफ्टर दैट दे ओवर दे गिवन मी मलेरिया कार्ड टेस्ट सो मलेरिया विल बी रिटर्न ऑन द टॉप एंड आई विल फर्स्ट एंड फोरमोस्ट फोकस ऑन विच Uh, which alphabet i will focus on the control sabse pehle control is what we are going to focus on so control line all of you have done a covid me to we have done so many card tests of patients and of our own selves so we know for a fact that the first thing that we have to analyze is going to be a is going to be the control so control line to has to be there that, that is when i'll say my test is valid control line to definitely hoga look at over here the control line has come very very weak do you want to call it a valid test hardly a faint sa line aaya hai so you say no we are not going to call it a valid test this patient has to be repeated this test has to be repeated to ye wala test to bilkul cross out this is an invalid test you are not going to put your report on this so first thing in the paper you notice is control should be there control hai matlab everything is badhiya after that you start looking at the other line so what do i have over here over here they've written pan malaria and pf pf matlab plasmodium falciparum so why have they separated all the malarias and then separated falciparum alag se what is so dangerous about falciparum which others are not causing i hope everyone remembers falciparum enters into the brain so falciparum has a property of causing cerebral malaria तो फैल्सीपेरम का डायग्नोसिस करना बिकम्स ऑल द मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट ओवर दी अदर्स सो नाउ ओवर हियर आई डिड नॉट सी एनी लाइन ओवर हियर सो मतलब दिस इज नेगेटिव दैट इज पॉइंट नंबर वन over here i got a line in the pan area pan area means it is positive for malaria but you did not get a line in falciparum so is it plasmodium falciparum no it is not falciparum it is some other malaria it could be vivax it could be ovale it could be all of that coming to the other third one when all the three lines are coming positive so all three lines may what are the possibilities number one is either it is just malaria positive it could be any malaria on this planet but also it could be falciparum because a line has come in falciparum also so either it is falciparum positive or it is a mixture of infections falciparum and vivax ka mixture hua hai so having said that if no line comes it is negative if one line comes it is positive but not falciparum if all the lines are coming either it is falciparum or it is a mixed infection so over here guys all the lines had come all the lines matlab ya to it is falciparum which is your answer or it could have been a mixed infection also okay the last part about malaria that we have to revise are the pictures to kya kya photos aata hai do ka photos you have to know plasmodium vivax and falciparum ka photos these are the pictures of plasmodium vivax that you have to know quickly tell me what are these two forms vivax ka kaun sa form hai ye this is the trophozoite or the ring form 
this is the trophozoite or the ring form that you have so you can very well identify na ek ring hai ek dot one ring one dot one ring and one dot so please remember y wax the way you say y wax wo one one wala sound is coming so there is going to be one ring and there is going to be one dot in every of those rings right so one ring and one dot khatam when i go to the next form after so let me tell you jab bhi malaria aayega you have to look out for tsg what is tsg trophozoite schizont gametocyte trophozoite dekh liya the next thing that you are going to look at is is a schizont and schizont is going to look like what a big circle with as a dot 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 inside it so that is going to be a schizont so next you look at a schizont and last what do you look at you are going to have a look at the gametocyte so the last one is a gametocyte now in the gametocytes i can see the shape in front of me what is the shape the shape is round y wax ka gametocytes are round and now tell me there's a macro gametocyte and a micro which is the female one so females ko hamesha zyada importance na females always need more attention more importance so macro word has to be going to the female gametocyte and micro word has to be going to the male gametocyte this is a rule for entire malaria macro will go to female and micro will go to males okay so i have understood the plasmodium vivax because now i have to understand plasmodium falciparum so please remember when i'm talking about falciparum the first thing do you see one one ring no we see multiple rings now everything is opposite i see multiple rings and i see multiple dots see every ring has two two dots every ring is going to have multiple multiple rings and multiple multiple dots that is plasmodium falciparum one of the rings has come to the periphery is ring ko kya bolte hain the ring has come so there are so many rings that some of them will be in the center some of them will be in the periphery so ye periphery wala form is known as the acole form acole form is going to be ring at the periphery so trophozoites you have identified so remember tsg trophozoite you have identified schizont dikhega should i show you a picture of a schizont in falciparum no falciparum was in the brain to so, schizont brain mein hi reh jata hai schizont does not come out into the blood schizont does not come out into the blood schizont is going to remain in the brain only having said that now we are going to come across and come to gametocytes so please remember when we are talking about gametocytes the favorite shape that we have is a banana shaped gametocyte and how do we identify male versus female over here so remember they, we had a mnemonic over here so this is the male and this is the female banana shape why because males may everything is all messy and scattered look at the nucleus ye brown brown wala nucleus is all scattered over there and females may everything is going to be well organized everything is organized in the center so remember males may everything is scattered to jab sab kuch aisa scattered dikhega that is a male gametocyte and females may everything is at one place organized very well arranged so that is a female gametocyte these two images you have to know i hope you've analyzed it so ab next part of what is the topic that we are going to have now malaria discussion ho gaya now i you are going to make three tables for me cystodes and trematodes ke hosts are asked a lot so you are going to make an entire an entire table for me ke sabke host yaad kar lo because question usse ho jayega to ek table mein trematode ek table mein cystodes and fir ek table mein sare eggs yaad kar lo and then you are good to go for the day right chalo let's begin these are all the trematodes that you have in front of you and now you are going to tell me what is the definitive host schistosoma paragonimus clonorchis and fasciolas definitive host sabka kya hoga sabka definitive host is going to be human beings right so definitive host is human beings after that we come to the next thing what is the first intermediate host so the first intermediate host is going to be for everything snail so at least this part of it is sorted so i will be doing the second intermediate host in the form of that will tell me the difference ki actually sab mein kya difference hai man and snail sab ka common hone wala hai right so now for schistosoma schistosoma always wants s once schistosoma gets an s it needs nothing else so the second intermediate host is going to be absent when i talk about clonorchis and opisthorchis we learn it as clonorfish and opisthorfish so this is to do with fish over here from today onwards you will be calling it opisthorfish and clonorfish that is how you are going to learn them to so, inka ho gaya fish 
when i talk about paragonimus paragonimus ko yaad karenge para cara so this is going to be crab this is associated with crab so there will be some history of crab uh, food consumption in the question that will be given so crab matlab there is going to be caragonimus okay now when we talk about the fasciolas whether they write fasciola hepatica or they talk about fasciolopsis buskai remember fa matlab there is fresh aquatic plants fa means that there is going to be f a for fresh aquatic plants so your trematodes ka table is going to be done let's do a quick recap sabka definitive host human sabka uh, intermediate host snail the second one is the difference so schistosoma mein kuch bhi nahi snail aa gaya s aa gaya good enough after that it doesn't need anything paragonimus mein there is something known as cara crab clonor fish and opisthor fish mein there's going to be fish and fasciola fasciola mein f a f a so there is fresh aquatic plants now when i come to the next question it becomes very simple there's a 35 year old man who comes with sputum that is productive and afb is negative tb nahi hai there is a history of ingestion of crab pickle which of these would you associated with crab to abhi pada crab is cara cara crab so what is the organism that you're going to select paragonimus caragonimus is how you select next let's do a recap of this entire table you have to tell me which of the following life cycles are incorrectly matched saath mein karte hai let's do it together we'll quicken the process clonorchis theek theek likha hai they've written man snail and crab man and snail to theek hai but crab is clonorchis going to have crab no so this is the false one clonorchis mein kya hota hai clonorchis mein there is fish clonor fish hota hai okay coming to the next paragonimus westermanni man and snail is fine does paragonimus have fish no again it is wrong paragonimus has cara that is crab so this is also a ye bhi galat ye bhi galat fasciola fasciola man and snail are fine what are they supposed to have fresh aquatic plants to ye dono theek likhe hain the fasciolas have been written correctly lastly schistosoma schistosoma is man and snail and khatam after snail it doesn't need anything so this is also wrong so what are the wrong ones what are the wrong ones that i have 1 2 and 5 so that is exactly what i had to mark they asked me which is wrong so 1 2 and 5 are wrong i hope everyone is okay with it ab jaldi se you are going to tell me the next table which is to do with the cystodes also cystodes ka hosts bhi batao then you are going to tell me all the eggs as well so now when we talk about the cystodes to so remember cystodes mein sab ka what we have the definitive host every where is going to be the humans only everywhere is going to be the humans except echinococcus echinococcus is what dog se related to yahan par the definitive host is going to be dogs human this is the only cycle where you will see human aisa bilkul na kone mein del chuck out kicked out human hoga because human being is an accidental host over here human being is an accidental dead end kind of a host so you will see there will be a cycle in which the human will be chucked out on one side theek hai to sabka definitive host is human but dog tape form ka definitive host is dog now let's talk about of intermediate host so remember h nana if you remember h nana was forever single h nana ka sab kuch single tha means does it need any other host no h nana has only one host and that is humans after humans it doesn't need anything else okay diphilobothrium latum i had also told you that diphilobothrium latum ko you will do diphishobothrium latum why diphishobothrium two fish they are going to be two fish chhota fish and bada fish that is how the life cycle will be along with humans there is going to be chhota fish and bada fish so chhota fish is referred to as a cyclops and big fish is obviously going to be fish so if they ask you which is the cystode which has three hosts human and two fish so three hosts wala is going to be diphishobothrium latum and single host wala only human human that is going to be h nana okay talking about tinea solium and saginata one of them is going to be pig and one of them is going to be cow or cattle so remember saginata is cattle so saginata tt saginata is cattle and solium is going to be the pig 
ओके हैविंग सेड दैट इफ आई आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन लाइक अच्छा लास्ट वन इज लेफ्ट इकाइनो कोकस अलग चल रहा था दैट वॉज द डॉग वाला सो डॉग इज द डेफिनेटिव होस्ट बट वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी द इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट सम अदर एनिमल इट कुड बी अ शीप फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट कुड बी अ शीप सो बेसिकली ये एनिमल्स के बीच में चल रहा है ह्यूमन विल बी ऑन द साइड ह्यूमन विल बी किक्ड आउट ऑन द साइड एक्सीडेंटल सो इफ आई शो यू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ साइकिल लुक एट दिस वेरी केयरफुली देर इज अ मेन साइकिल इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन अ डॉग एंड अ शीप एनिमल एनिमल के बीच में चल रहा है ह्यूमन इज समेर ऑन द साइड किक्ड आउट लाइक एन एक्सीडेंटल होस्ट सो वॉट इज दैट गोइंग टू बी दैट इज द डॉग टेप पम दैट इज द क्लासिकल इकाइनो कोकस विच आई कैन सी ऑल ऑफ यू आर आंसरिंग विच इज वेरी गुड एक और क्वेश्चन ट्राई करो ये तो सिंपल वाला था ट्राई दिस गाइज I can see us standing over here. Then I can see one more host here and one chota bada fish type of thing over here. What is this going to be? So there's a human and then there's a chota fish and then there's a big fish. So there are two fish involved. If there are two fish involved, we are dealing with the life cycle of Diphilobothrium or Diphilobothrium latum. Medicine me kya question aata hai? With Diphilobothrium latum, which is the very famous anemia that you see, Diphilobothrium latum is associated. associated with b12 deficiency that is megaloblastic anemia that's a very famous medicine question that you have please remember this much much expected okay having said that the last revision for the day that we are going to do is we have to revise all the eggs the andas are definitely important so let's start with our revision of that the first egg now for all the eggs quick revision the first egg that we are going to have is this one which i'm sure everyone remembers the egg which has a lid on top of it now the egg which has the lid on top of it is said to be the operculated egg kahan kahan dikhega where all do you see an operculated egg please remember see lid lid is basically it's looking as if you know it's trying to give protection to the eggs so lid is basically to cover the egg to give protection to the egg so when uh, when does anyone need protection protection is needed against stds Prote protection is lid is needed against stds so s for spirometra spirometra has the lid one वाला एग टी फॉर ट्रीमटोड हैज द लिड वाला एग and d that diphishobothrium latum d latum is also going to have the lid wala egg but there is an exception do all trematodes have this lid wala egg no there is an exception that is the s that is schistosoma Schistosoma says I need something with S. So Schistosoma will not show you this egg. Schistosoma will show you S for S. Schistosoma will show you spinous eggs, eggs with a spine. So have a look at this. Three Schistosoma hai. Schistosoma hematobium, Schistosoma mansoni, and Schistosoma. Japonicum. So hematobium is the only one just me T aata hai. The way you write hematobium, that's the only one that is going to have a T. So where is the spine present? The spine is a terminal spine. We have a terminal spine that is present in the egg. Whereas when I talk about Schistosoma mansoni. man soni sleeping man it sounds like sota hua man so how is the person sleeping leta hua leta hua sota hua man so it is going to be a lateral spine so remember leta hua sota hua man very good finally japonicum japonicum i can't see i hardly see any spine imaginary hai so rudimentary the spine has gone away japan spineless ho gaya that is rudimentary spine so this is how you learn schistosoma remember firstly schistosoma s for s spinous schistosoma hema tobium has terminal spine mansoni has leta hua sota hua man and japan is going to be spineless that is rudimentary spine okay now coming to the next set of eggs tell me how are the eggs how will you identify eggs of the members of cystodes cystodes may how i have learnt is something to do with six will be mentioned so they will always say which is the egg which is a hexacanth hexacanth wala egg is going to be the cystod eggs kuch six wala hoga what is six count the hooklets over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 as soon as i start seeing six hooklets matlab wo cis toad wala egg has been mentioned to me like many of you were saying that yeah this is the egg of h nana how did you identify h nana again h nana is a cis toad only na and cis toad matlab something to do with six i have a set of six hooklets that are present over here is that okay with everyone someone has asked me a question dr shubham what organ does japonicum affect japonicum goes into ij that is how we had learnt it i 
IJ japonicum jata hai ileocecal region mein ileocecal region means the small intestine japonicum is a small intestine also if you are preparing for higher exams japonicum can cause cns schistosomiasis also japonicum can cause genital schistosomiasis also these are also two pyqs cns and genital infection as well okay so coming back yes coming back to the cystodes um, we have all the six wala eggs are going to be the cystodes that is why we had it h nana okay now coming to the next egg the famous fmg exam ka to ye super super famous egg hai what is this egg the egg which looks like some people call it barrel some people like to remember it as a dholak wala egg so lots of names you guys give to this so please remember that is barrel shaped wala egg so barrel if it's open you will have to seal it how do you seal it you are going to put two plugs over here one plug over here and one plug over here but i seal it in a different manner i have sealed it with a t over here and a t over here matlab barrel shaped egg kiska hoga tricuris tricura so with two pins i have sealed the eggs so tricuris tricura wala jo egg hai that is the barrel shaped egg and this is you guys know you've seen your uh, previous year questions you know ki this is very very important tricuris tricura t and t barrel shaped eggs coming to the next one which is the shape of which is the egg which is going to be the d shape egg d shape wala egg so means one side is flat one side is rounded one side is flat one side is rounded so the d wala egg is why did i say d like this because that is going to be enterobius vermicularis your two sessions before this question came in the fmg exam enterobius vermicularis that is going to be the d shape egg this ye wala bhi yaad ho gaya coming to the next one which is the egg in which i can see these hooks there are some hooks or segments that are happening to aisa o o o jaisa hook ban raha hai so remember the egg in which this hook is happening is the egg of hook worm in which you see you can have a look at it again without the labelings dekho in which you are going to see these dipping on or the hooking that is happening so that is going to be the hook worm wala egg perfect so ek hi egg bacha and that is the egg that you have for the round worm so round worm means what round worm basically means ascaris right we are talking about ascaris lumbricoids that is round worm so i can see there are two eggs of round worm that i see round round hi hain dono one is fertilized egg one is non fertilized egg how i have learned if someone asks you who has an albumin coat who has an albumin coat to sab kuch na fertilized ke paas hai non fertilized has nothing so who has an albumin coat fertilized has an albumin coat who is going to have a space at the corners who is going to have a crescent space at the corners so again fertilized will have non fertilized will not who is going to float in saturated salt solution fertilized will float non fertilized will not so ultimately i realize sab kuch fertilized ke paas hai everything the fertilized had whether the coat or the crescent or the flotation this non fertilized has everything no 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 coat no crescent no fertilization is that easy so that wraps up all your eggs बट एक ऑर्गेनिज्म है जिसका एग्स नहीं आएगा द लास्ट पिक्चर फॉर द डे उस ऑर्गेनिज्म का ये फोटो आएगा बिकॉज देर आर नो एग्स इन्वॉल्व बट वंस यू लुक एट दिस पिक्चर यू नो वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नो वॉट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट सो यू हैव द वेरी फेमस थिंग विच इज गिवन फ्रॉम लिवर एंड लिवर में वेन यू सी दीज मल्टीपल सिस्ट यू नो यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाईडेटेड सिस्ट तो इसका देर आर नो एग्स दैट यू हैव टू नो मतलब द फोटो डजेंट कम लाइक दैट यू हैव टू नो द सिस्ट वॉल दैट इज द क्वेश्चन दैट इल कम तो ये जो हाइड्रेटेड सिस्ट है व्हेन यू लुक एट इट अंडर द माइक्रोस्कोप व्हाट इज दिस अपीयरेंस दैट यू विल गेट इट लुक्स एज इफ समवन हैज डन पेंटिंग किसी ने ऐसे पिंक कलर का पेंट ब्रश लगाया है दैट इज अ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन व्हिच ऑर्गेनिज्म शोस यू द वेरी फेमस पेंट ब्रश अपीयरेंस ओके लेट मी आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम यस्टरडे यस्टरडे इन सम फंगस आई टॉट यू सम ब्रूम और ब्रश अपीयरेंस कौन सा वाला फंगस था रिमेंबर अ स्टोरी विद अ ब्रूम और ब्रश यू वर हिटिंग द रैट्स एंड मेकिंग देम रन अवे वी डिड वन story yesterday which fungus was showing you broom or brush appearance that was penicillium marnefi remember marna marna with a brush everyone remembers that so penicillium marnefi was showing you the broom or brush appearance and where do you see the paint brush appearance in parasitology you see it in the hydated cyst coming back so look at this this entire picture this is that paint brush that they are 
talking about coming to the last one what is this picture this is a hooklet we say hydrated cyst always shows you hooklet so this is what a hooklet is going to look like this hooklet wala picture is important so hydrated cyst will come over here and why did i say liver because what is the most common site of hydrated cyst it is going to be the liver and what is the second most common site of the hydrated cyst that is going to be the lungs so liver and lung ka koi history aayega tell me some more medicine questions do you ever do fnac of a hydrated cyst i hope you know the answer is big no fnac is contraindicated if you do fnac the patient is going to die so you never ever do fnac in a hydrated cyst always always remember so treatment kaise karenge when you are not supposed to do an fnac quick answer to that how do you last question for the day how do you do the treatment of hydrated cyst is there any technique that you study in surgery which is uh, very very important are we all aware of something called as the pair technique can you tell me what is pair technique for hydrated cyst perfect you guys know to jaldi se bata do there is first you'll do a puncture you'll say but ma'am yahi to baat thi puncture nahi karna tha that was very very dangerous for the patient so as soon as you puncture what do you do you aspirate all the fluid out whatever fluid see puncture kyu nahi kar rahe if i punctured this cyst the fluid will come out patient will have anaphylaxis patient will die because of the fluid to wo fluid nikal lo what do going to do after you puncture you are going to aspirate it and then you will inject some scolicidal agent scolicidal means something that will kill the hydrated cyst guys what can what are the things that we can inject one of the things are definitely alcohol 95% alcohol is something that is injected so one of the scolicidal agents are going to be injected and once you inject it you remove that also once the organism is killed you are going to reaspirate that so simple how do you treat a hydrated it says you first do a puncture after that you aspirate all the material you inject some agent something like a 95% alcohol is very commonly preferred and then we go ahead and do a reaspirate so yes hypertonic saline as well is yes there are like i said in, initially there are multiple scolicidal agents that can be used but at the end of it jo bhi inject karoge wo reaspirate also you have to do so pair is what is the treatment that we follow for hydrated with which definitely we come to the end of this particular session which i hope you guys have been able to find it a little beneficial in the best possible way of how to do a 45 minute very rapid revision of parasitology so having said that uh, pdf to mil jayega on the telegram group tomorrow we are going to have a rapid and a little more rapid than this because as we are moving closer to the exam to kal to aur zyada time crunch hoga so in 45 50 minutes we are going to talk about the different flash cards of bacteria main main culture media main main photos so tomorrow we'll be covering those same time 2 o'clock and um, kal wala pdf i hope everyone has got aaj wala pdf there won't be any delay within the next 5 or 10 minutes you'll get it on the telegram group right okay so thank you so much guys for joining in and for all the appreciation as always exam bhi itna pass hai but still you guys always take out time to appreciate which i is which is something that i always tend to you know learn from all of you that you guys are always so appreciative towards whatever we have to teach you so thank you for that and yes um, uh, see uh, for those who are asking for other parts i'm trying to pick up most important topics dekho ab in 45 minutes i can't make you revise what is to be read in 6 hours but i'm trying my best so we are picking up the most uh, high yielding and volatile kind of things if you want that you know you want to re want to revise the entire microbiology then uske liye to hamara wo 10 hours wala crash course hai na that is always there for you to quickly listen to it at a 2x speed but if you want to revise the most high yielding points and the most expected things that we are doing in these particular sessions right to so, kal bacteriology undoubtedly and yes thank you so much for joining in if we have any neat pg students and also students who are preparing for आगे वाला एग्जाम्स नॉट द जैन ट्वेंटी वाले पीपल प्लीज गो नाउ द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द आगे वाला एग्जाम्स फॉर यू गाइज आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू दैट वी हैव नाउ कम अप विद रिकॉर्डेड वीडियोज आई हैव डन द रिकॉर्डिंग फॉर पैथ एंड माइक्रो इन दैट बोथ एंड देन वी हैव ऑल दी अदर एजुकेटर्स हु डन द नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट्स वाला रिकॉर्डिंग सो अभी जनवरी फिफ्टीन से यू विल गेट ऑल द माइक्रो बायोलॉजी लेक्चर्स एंड बाई द एंड ऑफ जैन यू विल गेट ऑल द पैथो लेक्चर्स ऑल्सो रिकॉर्डेड फ्रॉम माई एंड बट ऑल दी अदर लेक्चर्स आर ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड एंड दैट इज अवेलेबल एज अ रिकॉर्डेड प्लेटफॉर्म meanwhile you have a rankers batch that is going on on an academy which is taking care of all your pyqs and a tnd that is the need of the r so tnd is ongoing i will be taking the tnd for path and micro and the rapid revision of both the subjects on the same 
right so yes thank you so much guys for joining in uh, telegram group uh, i'll be posting this on the unacademy wala telegram group also and on mine as well pathology by dr preeti sharma so you can pick up the pdf from there theek hai um डॉक्टर जिनेश अगर सब भूल गए बिल्कुल नॉर्मल है किसको सब याद रहता है यू थिंक एनी वन हैज एनी सुपर ब्रेन के 19 सब्जेक्ट्स याद रहेंगे किसी को नहीं याद रहता यू टेल एनी पर्सन हुज बीन रीडिंग सिंस फोर फाइव इयर्स आल्सो एंड यू स्टिल आस्क दैट पर्सन दैट यू नो नाउ डू यू रिमेंबर ऑल नाइनटीन सब्जेक्ट तो नहीं याद रहने वाला सो दैट इज जस्ट बेसिक ह्यूमन ब्रेन प्रॉब्लम दैट नो वन कैन रिमेंबर एवरी थिंग एंड नाइ डू यू हैव टू आई ऑलवेज से यू डोंट हैव टू बिकम अ पी एच डी इन एनी वन सब्जेक्ट यू डोंट हैव टू बी द किंग ऑफ एवरी थिंग यू हैव टू बी जस्ट नोइंग अप्रोक्सीमेटली 75% of every subject for the FMG exam and that will help you clear the exam. You don't have to do a PhD just in one subject like anatomy and all the 18 subjects you're not revising. So abhi jab 4 5 days hai na you don't have to sit down with one subject for 4 days. You have to make sure that you are doing the most important important volatile topics of things like biochemistry, microbiology, pharmacology jo har koi bhulta hai. Everyone has to revise it in the last one week. There is no super brain over here who can revise microbiology uh, to months before and then suddenly give the exam not possible so end moment revision is what is needed so abhi ke liye please remember that you have to go through the most volatile things and you know you know that okay my mind always forgets the parasitology x to jaldi se dekh lo if my mind tends to forget biochemistry cycles just go through them quickly keep a target of 2 hours and brush through them and if you can't understand what to study then the safest and the best thing to study are the previous year questions pyqs will never ever ditch you if the exact question doesn't come the same topic will come so pyqs will always rescue you in the last 4 to 5 days okay um yes exactly dr somya when you say that ma'am i have 2211 hour for every subject means you can only do previous year topics and the topics which you know that you've always forgotten like everyone has their own customized set of topics maybe i might be very good with trematodes wala chapter you might not be so good with that chapter so you know what exactly in your grand tests and in your questions earlier you have been getting wrong repeatedly to bas wo wale topics jaldi se ek ek do do ghanta mein dekhna hai that's about it that you have to do ठीक है ईसीजी डॉक्टर दिव्या नया आई डोंट टीच ईसीजी अभी नया नया मत पढ़ो फ्रॉम मी बट यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ अदर क्लासेस ना वी हैव ईसीजी व्हिच हैज बीन टेकन बाय द मेडिसिन फैकल्टीज एंड ईसीजी बाय डॉक्टर जैनब इज आल्सो देयर आई थिंक बाय डॉक्टर निकिता इज आल्सो देयर तो अभी तो जो क्लासेस है व्हाट यू हैव बीन व्यूइंग ऑल थ्रू आउट तो अभी तो उसी से अभी आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टीच एनीथिंग न्यू एंड कंफ्यूज ऑल ऑफ यू डॉक्टर ऋषभ येस फॉर पैथो द टू सेशंस आर इनफ एंड बिफोर दैट इफ यू हैव बीन अ पार्ट ऑफ द रैपिड रिव्यू लिंक्स दैट आई हैड पोस्टेड अर्लियर then so it is more than enough but for your last moment revision those two links should help you out okay occupational diseases dr ganjinder we've done that earlier right if you've seen asbestosis or ye sare lung wale lectures we've done that earlier but the most important occupational disease that you'll get in the paper ya to wo hoga silicosis silicosis pe question aaya to koi glass industry ka question aayega or you'll get a question on asbestosis and asbestosis mein asbestos body wala photo you have to see and go that is what is most important right okay so having said that uh, neat pg pyq um uh, dr mahir yes of course neat pg marathon will be separate i will have a neat pg marathon for patho and for micro so abhi to we are focusing only on the jan 20th exam for the fmg students after that obviously the next focus will be solely on the neat pg students till march 5th so there'll be separate marathons for that as well these will obviously i will try not to repeat the topics whatever we've discussed in these marathons is done i will obviously try to include something over and above these in the neat pg marathons right so um कार्डबोर्ड आई थिंक दैट कार्डबोर्ड वाला क्वेरी डॉक्टर मनीष हेज आस्ट इज अ वेरी ऑन गोइंग आजकल का लेटेस्ट सोशल मीडिया कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी इज दैट कार्डबोर्ड ना सो इफ यू रीड ऑल द लेटेस्ट बुक्स ऑफ पैथोलॉजी ऑफ मेडिसिन ऑल्सो ऑफ पी एस एम दे हैव मैंशन दैट इवन कार्डबोर्ड कैन बी एसोसिएटेड विद बैगेज बैगेज मतलब बैग असोसिस सो डेफिनेटली येस okay so fine thank you so much for joining in guys study very well give it your best in these last uh, few days and as i say abhi agar koi grand test de rahe ho nahi theek ho raha never mind there will be small battles that you will lose on the way but the war you will always win in the end remember so to be able to reach the war and to reach that d day there will be tiny tiny battles along the journey that you will lose and that is totally fine to abhi agar grand test mein nahi acha result aa raha 
not a problem don't go into and don't dwell into that grand test score of yours just focus that this is a learning process and whatever i learn in these days all this will help me on jan 20th right so yes thank you so much for joining in i'll take leave now and i'll be meeting you all tomorrow at 2 pm study well all the best